I don't want to, I, I'm a Hannah main. Like, isn't every survivor just like they have the same ability to crouch, stand up, and then like fix generators like extremely slowly? I didn't realize. I'm already Tracer. It just seems like it's very sweaty, man. So I'm like, I would love to get better at this, but my goal for getting better is not to be the best player. You'll, this is like one of the only games in my life where when I like win or lose, I'm not, or well, when I win, I'm stoked. When I lose, I'm like, good game, you played well, good game, you got me, I am ass, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Because I, I want to be good enough to have good games. I don't want to be good enough that I'm like, oh, we only lost that one because you took the uh, shared health perk where every time you drink a potion, you also get plus 5% on locking speed. Like, that's crazy to me. But also, I have become that guy in some games for sure. And if we ever get to the point where we're like, oh, wow, another person with plus 3% endurance perk, then I think it's time to just say that it's washed, uninstall it, recover 30 gigs on the SSD, and play more Super Auto Pets. I just accidentally ate the sticker on a peach. You'll probably be fine. I think you'll be okay. I've been eating so much fruit, man. I know I keep saying it. It's going crazy, though. I ate two chamwe last night. Do you know what chamwe is? Korean melon. It's like a, um, a white and yellow striped melon. That's not a fruit that you just go like, you know, I'm just going to like bite into it. I had to get a vegetable peeler. I peeled them. I sliced them and took, scraped the seeds out of the core and then sliced the, the fruit up. Like that's how fruit pilled I am right now. I'm crazy on the fruit, man. Okay, where is the exit that they always get out of? <laughs> it's this one, right? Wait, I, can, I, I can't even lock this one. This is, oh, I can next draw. Oh! Yes. Everything I own in a lock to the right. That's a big one. Already got 80 blood. We want to get 100 blood, though. Thank you for 150 blizzies. Please see a doctor. Those fruits have been recalled. Nah, I don't think so. I'm feeling pretty good today. Rip to everybody who got, like, Listeria or whatever, but I think I'm just built different, quite frankly. Um, plus, I already have my food poisoning arc. I'm over it now. It's called growth. Uh, where's Grandpa? <laughs> Grandpa, you're not in your usual spot. Let me feed Grandpa. I have a full blood vial. I have a full blood vial. I get the I want the EXP for feeding grandpa. Thank you. I saw them. I'm just just waiting a second, man. They're in the damn basement anyway. See if I care. Oh, they're running from Leatherface. I see. Hey, can I tell you something that changed my life? Um, not having dinner manners. Good stuff, sissy. Good stuff. Now, I am not suggesting that you should, like, you know, eat with your mouth open and be gross like that. But I always, I, I love my parents. This is a rare disagreement I have with my parents. I always grew up that you don't start eating until everybody at the table has their food. I think that as a kid, you're just like, that's polite. As an adult, I'm like, that's insane. Because I don't control, especially at a restaurant, 
I don't control when you get your food. The restaurant controls when you get your food, man. When your food arrives, you should eat it. Because that's the... And I don't care if you eat before I get my food. As long as you don't care if I eat before you get your food. Whoa. I'm blind. I'm, I'm doing the pincer movement here. Minus two. Minus two. I get it. Like, you live with your parents. But, like, at some point, you're probably going to figure out that, like, you can come up with your own opinions to things. You don't need to just piggyback on what they told you when you were growing up. And you may find yourself thinking differently. Why even go out to eat with people if that's the case? There is... Oh, me... Hang on. I'm going to take my hands off the controller. My chicken tenders haven't come out yet, and you're already eating your Caesar salad? I don't even want to be here anymore. You see what that, that's probably not what you're saying, but that is the vibe you're giving off in that situation. Why even go out to eat in that, in that case? Because you're spending time with friends in a different environment where you don't have to do the dishes. It's too foggy. The restaurant should try to time it so that everybody gets their food at the same time. Yeah, I completely agree. But sometimes they don't. Sometimes they bring out three plates and then you're sitting there for uh, five minutes and you're like, well, I don't want to start eating because your food might be out in a minute. Then I look impolite. Brothers, I got no stam. She's going to pick the lock before I can kill her. But there's two locks. Just talk to the people while you wait. Nah, brother, just eat your food. Honestly. Huge. Now just monitor that stam. Just eat your food. If your food comes out before my food gets there, help yourself, quite frankly. Your food is best when they bring it to the table. I don't, it would be impolite for me to make you wait to eat your food when it's at the optimum temperature. She's, my wife's saying plus two, plus two. I can't hear what she's saying, honestly. I'm, I'm a very much a go-ahead-and-eat-Andy. I'm not two years old. I'm not going to be like, you're eating, but I don't have food, so I can't eat yet. Like, that's, that's juvenile behavior. What's wrong with Grandpa? Oh, he was already in the, in the gooning phase. I understand. Bro, our, this is the antithesis of our previous game. Our teammates are too good. I'm not getting any time in the spotlight. <laughs> I'm going to be sixth man of the year. The kitchen is responsible for making sure all the food comes out at the same time. Yeah, I know, but sometimes I think my game crashed. No! Sometimes you blow it. That's I'm not getting it. It's a hard job. I'm just saying. My game guy was cooking. I mean, I just feel like people are a little. They're, in my opinion, people are manners crazy. What is being nice? If you uh, open a door. You should give them one of these and hold the door open for the person that's behind you. You don't have to go, m'lady, and then step aside while opening the door. But if you've already opened the door, you should extend your arm to keep it open until the person gets to the door. That's good manners. Me forcing you to look at your food until my food comes and it's a D20 roll, whether it's going to be 15 seconds or like two minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes, like that's, I'm, that's not manners. That's just irrational. Just go ahead and eat. I'm not a little baby. I'm not going to be like, nobody can eat until the oldest person at the table gets their food. Because you know what's crazy is that people are like, it's manners. They say it in the same way that people say like, oh, it's common sense. You know what manners are in Korea? You don't look at someone if they're older than you when you're taking an al alcoholic drink. 
If you ask a 40-year-old Korean, they would say, it's manners. If you ask a 40-year-old American, uh, American, they would be like, that's the craziest shit I've ever heard. You know what? I'll, I'll try to leather face just to mix it up. Manners are all things you learn from the culture. But some of that shit was baked into the culture 200 years ago and is no longer applicable. Feeling a bit base today, are we? As far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to be mad at you if your food comes out and you eat before, I'm, before my food comes out. But here's the way it normally goes, is there's a, there's a deference, right? Your food comes out early. I say, go ahead and eat. We don't know how long my food will be. Then sometimes they'll protest and they say, no, no, I can wait. And I say, no, I insist. The real spirit of manners is within reason, the first person to insist gets their way. To resist an insist makes you the person with bad manners. If you go to pay for a bill and then a family member says, no, I got it, and you say, really, it's no problem, and they say, I insist, you're causing a problem if you say, no, I also insist. The first insister gets priority. You can't insist upon an insist. It's like a DMCA. A DMCA is a shot across the bow. If you counter a DMCA, if they counter that one, it goes to court, okay? It's an it's a, a arms race. As far as I'm concerned, if you respond to an insist with an I insist, then you're being impolite because you're saying your insistence is higher than my insistence. Respect your points, your level zero. It didn't stop me from getting two kills last time. It's, a, it's good advice, though. Hmm? I do not have a bowl here. Highlights a victim for all family members. I don't have enough, I don't have any skill points because I, I respect this guy. I don't have any points. I don't have any points. If I use that logic, I can get my way all the time as long as I insist first. Honest question, are you four years old? I mean, getting your way in this case is like paying your bills. <laughs> paying for a restaurant bill. <laughs> like, what are you going to insist upon? That's why I say within reason. Like, if I was going to go out with a friend and I said, let's go to this nice restaurant, and they said, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese, and then they said, I insist, sure, I would go to Chuck E. Cheese with them once. But then if they said, I insist a second time, I'm not asking them to go out again. You the, you're the one who sounds for by, making, by being mad people are waiting for their food. The manners Andes are so annoying, man. I decline the swap, by the way. I... I'm literally the rational person here. Your food comes out, it's ready to eat, we're hungry, that's why we went to a restaurant in the first place. Now I will accept this swap. Eat. There's no rational reason for you to not eat if your food is already in front of you. I would have to be four years old to be mad if you were eating when my plate had not arrived yet. I don't know if it's a North American thing, or it's generational, but I feel like people who are like of a certain age or born in the Midwest are very um, paranoid about being disrespected at all times. Uh, oh, someone didn't adhere to the completely arbitrary rules of the social code. They think they're better than me. Nah, dude, they're fucking hungry or they're thinking about something else. They're probably fantasizing about you know, what they're going to do when they're done work, looking at work screen and they can go home and look at play screen, you know? It's about being disrespectful to others. You've, I'm sorry to tell you this, you've been programmed by the matrix, okay? The matrix of, of Southern politeness. There's nothing innately rude about eating food that has been served to you, even if someone else's has not been served to them yet. And you're resorting to ad hominem attacks. You're saying you're an idiot, you're two years old? No, 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 this is just... I feel like it's more impolite to be like, 
There's an invisible wall between you and your food. You can't touch it. You can't touch it. Until the big man gets his meal, until Mr. Big, the, the head honcho, gets his food, nobody gets to eat their food, okay? Anyway, you're not invited to the dinner anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it, Chet. Don't flatter yourself. Hello, grandfather. There's no blood in my vicinity. Now, here's what I'm thinking, though. Is this a padlockable door? It is not. And there's no blood over here. All right, I've already wasted my time. I know what I... I have my loop now. What if we just share the food that came first? Now you're like overthinking it. If it's an appetizer, everybody shares. If it's an entree, no, I don't get to eat your food just because your food arrived first. That's madness. Hey, your food came out first, so can I have a bite of your steak? I mean, like if you're my spouse, yeah. If you're my friend, maybe. I have to think about it. <laughs> what if they insist? No, you can't, that's the thing. You can't insist upon an impoliteness. You can only insist on, on a politeness. What are you, for? You're not, you're just echoing me, and then you think that it insults me when it actually flatters me. You're, you're trying, using my own rhetoric against me. It's my own rhetoric. I made it. It's like you're saying, you're telling Tom York Radiohead sucks, his solo work is better. Okay, thank you. Send me. His solo work does go nuts. My reaction when I'm a moon-shaped pool. My reaction when I'm in a, non, a Noxuna moon. Friends that make me wait to eat my food piss me off. Thank you. There's dozens of We can go out for... I will, we'll get along. We'll have conversations with each other. I would be pissed off if a friend got pissed off that I took a bite of my food when it arrived, when their food wasn't there. I would be like, honestly, no disrespect, Tim Tebow, that's heavy homeschooled energy. My parents always said you should wait for everybody's food to, okay, bitch, I don't know your parents. Your parents could have voted for Mitt Romney for all I know. Like, I don't, you give them respect because they gave birth to you. I don't know who the hell they are. Your parents, you must give them respect because they're your parents, at least at first. That being said, I don't have to give them parents, their respect. They're not my parents. They're just strangers to me. There's no way you act like this IRL. Well, it's because you don't act like this IRL either. The way that this shit goes IRL is like my wife's food comes out and I go, you should eat. And she goes, really? And I go, yeah, fucking obviously. And then she does because we're like normal people. Hang on, we're going to level three grandpa here. If I'm at the dinner with like an acquaintance and I'm like, uh, oh, hang on, let me use my, my elf ears. And their food comes out first and I'm like, um, you should eat. And they say, no, it, I'm fine. I say, really, honestly, what are we doing here? Your food's here, just eat. And they go, oh, okay. Sometimes they say like to placate me. They'll say, okay, I'll eat. And then they don't eat. And I'm like, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not going to put the fork in your mouth, but. You can lead a horse to water. You can't make a drink. What do you do if you find a hair in your food? Uh, I'll tell you what I do. I eat, I pull the hair out. I eat the food and I don't tell anybody else at the table. 
I know some people are very, um, and I think it makes sense that they're like, they don't want to eat dirty food because who, who, you know, given a choice, who would want to eat dirty food versus clean food, right? But me personally, it doesn't bother me. The, I know that the other people probably don't have hair in their food. So as a result, I'm not going to ruin their dinner by spoiling their appetite, by making them paranoid about there being a hair in the food. I'm going to let Leatherface go. Leatherface, you, you got a chase on this one. You got the speed and the endurance, brother. Take it one for the team, my hero. See, that's it. I don't have unreasonable opinions. Okay, you got me, kid. I don't know if you guys all went to like the debutante's ball or something like that. The one on the far left is the soup spoon, then it's a salad spoon, then it's a salad fork, then it's a dessert fork, then it's a... Oh, he's, he's got jukes. Oh, you're in a world of hurt, brother. Uh-oh, my kill, my kill, my kill, my kill. Okay, your kill. He was, he's quick on the button there. <clears throat> Grandpa's power is at maximum. Achieve a perfect family win on each map. See, I'm letting Leatherface eat first, exactly. Wait, we're level... Listen, we were not that strong in that game, but we did okay. <laughs> we held our own. I'm not worried about hair in the food. Isn't insisting impolite? Not if you're in a cold war. An insistence is not impolite in a cold war. Because if you didn't insist, then you would just be like, no, I'm going to do this, no, I'm going to do this, no, I'm going to do this. Somebody has to say, I insist. In many situations. I'm also, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm, this is going to sound like it's going to hurt more than anything I've said so far. Maybe it's that because I'm disrespected literally like five hours a day, five days a week and then also kind of ambiently 24-7 in the YouTube comments. I'm very much not worried about being disrespected by people that I know actually respect me, like my in-laws or my friends or my family or something like that when we're out in public. I don't find it impolite if my brother-in-law wants to pick up the check at lunch. If I say, I got it, and he says, I insist, I'm like, all right, brother. Insistence deferred. I defer to you. I'm not like, oh, he owned me. He fucking owned me by paying for the bill. Implicitly, he thinks I'm poorer than him and I need to be protected, but I don't need to be protected. I'm a man. I'm the one who does the protecting, even though I'm so fragile that somebody buying something for me hurt my feelings. You know, I'm not like that. I'm like, thank you for paying for a dinner. It was delicious. Good night. Four thousand more XP to go. That's why I always offer first, so that the other person insists. You know what? That's unethical uh, life pro tip for sure. <laughs> always offer to pay at a at a family dinner. Always offer to pay first. Like reach your hand out really slowly and be like, "I got it," and then wait for somebody to be like. Psh! No, what are you talking about? You got it. I got it. What if they don't call your bluff? I got it, guys. I got it. You just go. I got it, guys. I got it. <laughs> don't worry. That would be funny. And then you're like, I forgot my wallet. No, no. Hey, guys, I'll pay for the bill, but just so you know, I never tip. I'm going to leave a zero tip if I pay for the bill because I don't believe in tipping, guys. 
Are you comfortable being complicit in my zero tip? This is my map. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Sometimes I secretly pay before the meal is done. A lot of Andes in chat don't know about the the arms race of paying for the bill. I have definitely pulled the, um, hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And then when I go to the bathroom, go to the front desk and just give them my credit card and say like, hey, I'm gonna pay for our table. Uh, what I have never done, cause I think that this is insane, but I have never done the like, call the restaurant in advance and be like, I am a bald 5'10 white guy. Here's my credit card number. If you see me come in like this is, use this credit card to pay for the bill no matter what anyone's, I've never done that. But I have pretended to go to the bathroom and then paid for the bill. But then usually after that, I go to the bathroom because I'm already up anyway. Like you might as well. Blood me? Blood me? Blood me. <laughs> Fuse me? Victim noise has awakened grandpa. Do you go to the bathroom and then pay or pay and go to the bathroom? I think like in practice it probably depends on how badly you have to go. But in the average situation, because I'm an adult who doesn't wait until my bladder is exploding to go pee, um, I would probably go to the uh, front desk first so nobody had the opportunity to pay while I was going to the bathroom. And then I would go to the bathroom. Venmo eliminated this for me. It's different though. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Going out for dinner with friends, I still feel like splitting the bill just is like, it, it's normal. Like paying for whatever you ordered is normal. But family, especially with like, you know, a generational um, element to it is a little, it's slightly different. Hang on, he's going, he's going. Yo, you go out here, I'm feeding grandpa. What about not splitting the bill equally? I'm just gonna say that that's not a Canadian thing. I'm not gonna say it's an American thing. And I'm not gonna say it's like a European thing. In Canada, I'm sure it's annoying for the servers to have to like itemize the bill and sometimes they do mess it up which is understandable they got a lot of tables but like in Canada it's very very standard practice to just be like everybody's seat is a different line item on the check and here's all their different bills sometimes maybe like one in 20 times they might be like we don't do that we're just gonna split it evenly and I think that is obviously a lesser value option then i have been to some places in america where they're like we don't split the bill here and i'm like usually i'm pissed off because the food is always worth it like if you're a, a shitty restaurant you can't afford to do that i think <laughs> i definitely went to a place in san francisco that was like um we sorry we're cash only and we don't split the bill here and then I was like, well, that fucking blows. And um, then I had the greatest Chipino of my entire life. I was like, this is sublime, you, you dickheads. <laughs> fucking assholes. Not, no, nothing, 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 okay. What's your take on a, on a QR code menu? Doesn't bother me at all. I would prefer a paper menu, but I'm not, I'm not concerned about it either way. What, you guys don't have phones?
The one thing I will say is I think that the restaurant industry, there's a chance for valid disruption here. Um, there's a lot of restaurants that have QR code menus, and these days you can also order the food on your phone. That's the generator. And then it'll just come to your table, and then you can even pay on the QR code, like the app that they load up. Um, paying on the app is annoying as hell because you got to type your credit card number manually into your phone instead of just giving it to a server. Or alternatively, maybe you have Google Pay or something or Apple Pay, which is also, I mean, that solves the problem, so just never mind. Um, but I always get paranoid that someone's going to, like, stop me when I leave the restaurant. They're going to be like, hey, where are you going? And I'm going to be like, I paid on the app. And they're going to be like... Sure, and then they're gonna pull out a weapon and kill me or something. The generator's off, brother. I mean, I need help. I need. Is there a way to signal to my family? I need some help. I just say I. I. They might be able to get a, another victim past me through the door, but I absolutely cannot abandon my post. Because if I abandon my post, they're going through the door. I'm out of STEM! Now all I can say is these guys better not be saying what's the cook doing, okay? <laughs> I'm projecting power. Is she gone? Is she out? I get, this is a bargeable? Generator's on. I appreciate that. Thank you. Leatherface, did you get her? I'm gonna guess that's a no. Okay, she's gone. Fair enough. No, she's not! No, she's not Leatherface! She's here! Leatherface, 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 Leatherface. I can't. I don't have the. I don't have the hops, brother. I don't have the hops. Dude is literally RPing out there, just swirling his chainsaw around in circles. <sighs> That's the cook's door. It's hide and seek. Okay. Do you realize you're min-maxing your own fun out of the game? You realize you're turning your toy into a job? Be careful. I've been there myself. That's a generator. You were just getting mad at Leatherface for RPing? Well, yeah, because I wanted to kill. Thank you. Min-maxing can be fun. Yeah, when you talk about it, it sounds like you're having a lot of fun. I mean, that's... I apologize. That was needlessly short with you, but... It was also funny. Oh! <laughs> <clears throat> it maximizes winning, which is fun. No, it doesn't. It maximizes the level of your opponent. Your win rate's probably going to stay roughly consistent. You will win against better people. But you'll also lose against better people. I feel like losing against bad people is great. Because when you lose, you're like, I'm also bad. You played better than me. Good job. When you lose to good people, you're like, oh, it's just because they had the hook perk where if they focus on a hook for two seconds, they get a plus 10% stamina bonus.
I could, yeah, because I was there with Rumbleverse. When I was new and I lost, I was like, whoa, good work. When I was good and I lost, I was like, uh, oh, you did double javelin tackle, really? Double javelin? They got a nerf javelin tackle. It comes out, look at the, look at the frames on javelin tackle. Look at the hitboxes. It really has a three frame initiate, bro. That's crazy. Any London today, Pharaoh? Yes. The temple needs its pharaoh. We will be playing London today. Some people are just built differently, though. Like, Justin does not really openly get mad at games that he plays. And I, I just don't have that. I have, like, the Apollo sensibility, where I get mad at the games that I play, but I'm, like, not good enough to justify being mad. So instead of stuff like, oh, why are they walking on like corrugated aluminum? It sounded like they were walking on oak hardwood. Like instead, I'm like, why are you so good at shooting a gun? Like I just default to like tearing down their personality. It must be nice to be 15 years old and failing out of the 10th grade. Unfortunately, I have a family and a full-time job, so I can't compete on the same level that you compete, you piece of crap.